Morning to you, sir. Colonel Ames sent me to get you. He said he thought you might be needing a drop of this. Oh, thank you. Uh, Kilrain, sir. Sergeant Kilrain. Glad to be of service. Hmm. You know, Colonel, uh, the boys, well, we've been watching you, sir, that we have. You've learned fast. Becoming a pleasure to serve under you. Are you a uh, veteran, Sergeant? Aye, sir. I suppose you could say that. Did me duty in the regular army for a while. Did the great long walk with General Scott down south of the Rio Grande. And some of the men you fought with in Mexico are on the other side. Almost all of the generals. Oh, it gets worse than generals, Colonel. Some of the lads that I left Ireland with are on the other side as well. Imagine that. We left together to escape a tyranny and end up shooting at one another in the land of the free. I, too, have friends on the other side, Sergeant. And enemies. Yes, sir. No shortage of enemies, that's for sure. Scots at Culloden, English at Bunker Hill, the French at Waterloo. The thanks of the nation. At this Christmas season, when the good fairies are in the air, we can hardly wonder at the sudden miracle that has shown us the Fredericksburg affair in its true light and given us occasion for national joy instead of national sorrow. <laughs> 